What's up, everybody? Spice Lemon here, and today I'm coming at you with another epic, super cool mega video. Shut the fuck up, me. This update has so much shit in it, and there's only so much time for the video. I mean, I have the attention span of a goldfish, so I'll try and rapid fire sort this video out. This update has quite a lot of stuff. The Season 5 update for Call of Duty Cold War. A lot of it for Outbreak, surprisingly. This has a lot of really, really cool stuff, including the new perk death perception, the new field upgrade, the new objective in Outbreak, the new guns, it's a video game, grapple hook, flamethrower, it's just crazy, dude, it's like, super cool, but first of all, let's go over the main fact, uh, this update does not fucking work. Uh, I don't know, some of it has been patched out, but at the time of recording, this is, uh, pretty busted here where you can see um i pick up these 1911s you know everything's right everything's normal i spawn in with this em2 new gun and all of a sudden i notice wait a minute it says my gun's blue but the 1911s i picked up were blue and weren't the 1911s i picked up the dual wielded wait okay hold on i still have them but i also have this random ghost 1911 that i can't pick up or swap it's like the game thinks I have Mule Kick, but doesn't know what to do, so it just gives me a 1911. That's interesting, I guess. It doesn't actually make my EM2 okay. blue, it but it just says it is, so that's neat, I guess. And, of course, you gotta love the new objective. It's like a combination of a transport uh, objective with the uh, rocket collecting one, and then, you know, the car wants to become the rocket itself. Look, there it goes. Wow. To the moon, just like Dogecoin. Well, that's that's just the glitches. Obviously, there's the cool stuff like the uh, grapple hook, as you can see right here. This thing is literally ripped straight out of Black Ops 4, which is a good and a bad thing because I like. It. Don't don't tell anybody I said this, but I, I I kind of I kind of like Black Ops 4, mostly Blackout, but that's it. Don't tell anybody. It's not that bad. But anyway, the uh, the grapple hook actually acts literally identical to the way it does in Blackout, where if you aim at the edge of a roof or whatever you're grappling at, your character can automatically vault and mantle over it. Or you can choose to cancel the grapple early by jumping, and you can use it to carry the momentum. You can also use this to speed up outbreak steps like the Ethereum Harvester, but only an outbreak though, because it's not in the round base maps, because, oh, God forbid you like the round base maps. Then, of course, we got the new field upgrade, Tesla Storm. Lightning from your body. It's, it's, honestly, it's kind of underwhelming. I am not the greatest fan of it, because, one, most of the time, I'm a solo player, and the big factor for this field upgrade is that it'll chain between you and your teammates to damage and stun the zombies, which is cool in co-op. I could see some uses in it, especially during Easter eggs and, you know, some cooperative gaming moments, but, like, when you're just playing by yourself, it just sticks to yourself, and it just sort of stuns the zombies, which, I mean, isn't bad. You can use it as a get-out-of-jail-free card, but at that point, I would much rather just use something that, instead of stunning the zombies, just kills them, like Ring of Fire, or God forbid, its underrated Energy Mine does so much damage now because it blows up three times. It's not that, not that great, in my opinion. This out and it wouldn't, and you know? And then we got another sort of lackluster, but, you know, neat part of the update. They added the flamethrower in the multiplayer, so they added in the zombies. And in zombies, it's kind of underwhelming, not at all as cool as the World of War one that you could get in Pack-a-Punch. It's, it's stronger than that one, but it's limited ammo, and it's sort of just like a mini death machine. It, it's okay. Budget death machine, really. But then you got the two big honkin' additions that really make this the Outbreak update. One, uh, F in the chat for my homie Double Tap, but they added in Death Perception. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, it's so great, right? Well, it's actually pretty useful in Outbreak, because if you have it upgraded all the way, not only does it highlight zombies through walls, it highlights loot boxes and Ethereum crystals, making it actually one of the best perks to have in Outbreak, because you're always running around looking for salvage, and loot, 
and crystals and all this stuff, so it's really good. And it even works during the Fury Crystal event. So if you have trouble with that, this perk might just, you know, give you a little boost there. So it's actually not that bad, but it's still not great. I really wish they would have done something cooler with it, like for a perk that lets you see through walls. I wish it, like, upgraded your actual bullet penetration damage. Y'all know I'm a sniper rifle simp, so I'm like, come on, let my sniper rifle shoot through more than two zombies. Why does the crossbow do that? Ah, I'm pain! Whatever, not the point. It's okay. But then, then my friends, they have the real deal. The big, honkin', two-ton pound of tungsten and titanium steel. I don't know what it's made out of. It's a motherfucker! freaking tank it's pretty cool i mean holy crap dude you're roaming around a freaking map with a tank blowing up zombies blowing up pans or sold at who gives a shit origins suck my ass i got a tank in outbreak baby Woo! i'm the king of the world i can't be beaten i am simply the greatest and i am it's already dead damn it damn it this is not... Okay. That's my bad. It's actually... It's actually pretty good. But... You can't go be reckless with the tank, because two Tempests will annihilate you, because, you know, they'll EMP your vehicle, and then you'll be sent straight to the Dark Aether, and it's just not a good time. It does have a lot more health than you would think, like a normal car. Obviously, it has more health. It's a tank. It's going to take more hits. But I feel like they need to change it slightly, just a bit, because you have to be pretty cautious with the tank, and I feel like that's not the point of a tank. If, you, if you're in a tank, you want to go in and fuck shit up, right? So, like, I think maybe they should make a tank you need to hit two bolts from a Tempest EMP it, and maybe give it a slight bonus armor damage, or maybe make it so that one zombie alone can't hurt it. It has to be, like, a horde of zombies to hurt your tank. I don't know. I'm not a game dev. But it's pretty fun, and it's actually pretty balanced, so you guys will probably enjoy it. It's it's pretty fun on the maps it's on. And that is mostly everything that's new this season for zombies. I mean, there's a couple more stuff I didn't go over, like obviously the specifics of the EM2 and eventually the Tech 9 when I unlock it. I'm not buying 100 tiers of the Battle Pass just to get early footage. I'm... I'm, I'm broke hours out here, guys. I work at Wendy's. I don't have that kind of funds. But, um, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll definitely post more update videos when they add more stuff, like mid-season update. I think they might be adding another Outbreak Easter egg. That'll be fun to do. New guns, new weapons, all sorts of epic gaming zombies, tips and tricks. Whoa, leave a like and subscribe. This <laughs> is good boy. No. But, um, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tell me if you like this style of video. It's uh, more heavily edited. I think I say that every other video, but who knows? I don't know. I'm dumb. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. I love you all. Peace! That's a solid day's work, Strike Team. Bring it home.